Hello, everyone. We're just going to wait a couple minutes. Uh, thank you for joining me on this Friday night. And we're going to have a great time doing some fun demos. So just wait a minute here. I'm just getting a last minute setup and configuration. All right, we are good to go. If anyone is in chat, please, please, please send me a message. I want to make sure we are on and going. But we are going to be doing some cool demos today. Uh, I just released my first WordPress plugin ever. Yes, I know. It's not really a big deal, but to me it is. I wouldn't say ever, but I did do a couple smaller plugins. But this is my first big plugin. And so we're going to be talking through what I did and what the plugin is. And if you're on Mastodon, you probably have seen some discussion in my thread. But we're going to go talk about it. And we're going to talk about what it does and how you can get it. So let's see, without further ado, let me go ahead and get us set up. I'm going to do a screen sharing and note that I'm going to be using my screen reader for this demo. I'm going to be using NVDA, non-visual desktop access. So let's get this thing started. I'm just going to make sure that we're good on audio. Yep, we are. All right, we're good. So what I'm going to do now is get our speech set up here and let's see here. I'm just going to turn my volume a little bit down. All right, we are good to go. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some demos of my new plugin. You guys are going to get to see the entire thing in action. And maybe some source code if I don't know how to close my VS code. But anyway, that's something unrelated to the topic. So I'm going to go ahead and start sharing. So if anyone's in chat, which I think somebody may be, if you're in chat, please tell me if you get sound. Before I do that, though, I got to make sure that my development environment is up. So just for clarification, because I know somebody may be asking, how do I develop WordPress plugins? We're actually going to be doing a programmatic episode. So if you've never heard of programmatic, it's one of the IACast network shows. And if you've not checked out the IACast network, you might as well do it. We've got over 11 shows that you can choose from. And I will be putting a link in the description, but please check out the IACast. I'm on there a lot. And we've got Michael Doeys and Michael Babcock and Jeff Bishop. And uh, we've got our new friend, Alicia. So yeah, please check out the IA cast. It's always a great time. But let's see here. Um, so I just thought I would tell you guys about that because that's where you're going to see all of the stuff like programmatic and things like that. Also, you should check out the IA cast radio so that you can access that at IACast, uh, net slash listen. Okay, so uh, the development server is almost up, and we're going to go ahead and get this thing started. Uh, okay, hold on a second. But because I forgot to install Gravity Form, we're going to go from the beginning. So, all right, let's do this thing. So you're probably wondering, what is Gravity Forms? Well, I'm going to show you how to install it. Um, in fact, because we got to install it on this installation. So I'll show you what to do and what Gravity Forms is. All right. So let's get this party started. I'm going to share my sound. Please let me know if there is any sound on your end. All right, so you should hear my sound. So what this website is, is just a test website I came up with. My domain is currently being held hostage with Squarespace. If you want to know more about that, you should check out my Mastodon. I'm pretty upset right now. So we just made a subdomain of the Techopolis website. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to install Gravity Forms. Now, what is Gravity Forms? Great question. Gravity Forms is one of the most popular WordPress plugins in existence today. 
it is a form plugin that will allow you to make pretty much any type of form. You know, you can make contact form, registration form, membership form. You got it. You can make it. And it's very flexible. There's so many different types of fields. And it is not cheap, though. So Gravity Forms does cost. It's not free, unfortunately. If you want a free plugin, check out something like Contact Form 7. But that's another thing. So we'll talk about that later. But Gravity Forms is meant for those who are more power users and you want the most flexibility out of the forms that you can get. So um, Gravity Forms, like I said, I think it starts at like, oh, I don't even know. I think like we pay about 300 a year. I almost said a month, that'd be ridiculous. Um, but either way, so it's a forms plugin that is used on WordPress. And so I wanna answer some common questions about Gravity Forms. Is it accessible? Yes, mostly. I'll explain why in a minute. Is it good for a single site? Yeah, there are different plans that you can use for different like single sites and things, but you know, I would go check out their pricing page on their website to see more. Um, is it, you know, fully accessible? Like, can I reorder form fields? Absolutely not. You can, you can try to. You have to drag and drop though, and I've heard it's not the most intuitive. I've never been able to actually get it to work myself. And hence why the Gravity Forms Accessibility Enhancements plugin was born. So I created a plugin that will literally help blind form administrators to reorder their form fields. So currently, before I made the plugin, you know, if you were a blind a form owner, why aren't he constant on your channel? Um, that means what you would have to do is you would have to get sighted assistant. I got a question that says, why am I not constant on my channel? Well, the reason I'm not constant on my channel is because I've had a lot of different changes. And like I said, I am going to try to get more constant on my channel. I have had to do a lot of different things. We've had a big move and, you know, it's been very, very busy around here. Like I said, so we just moved into our big apartment. But, you know, what I will say is I will be a better person. I will try to stream more. The other thing, too, is that, you know, I hate to admit it, but I don't like really video editing. So that's kind of another problem. Alicia Geary. Jeff says you're buffering, but it's moving right along on my end. Jeff says I'm buffering, but it's moving right along on her end. Alicia, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, sometimes YouTube does lag. And unfortunately, I don't have a uh, I almost said I don't have security. Geez, I don't have a solution for that. So unfortunately, that's just how streaming works. All right, any more questions before we start the process of installing Gravity Forms? Let's see, any questions? All right, I don't have any more questions, so let's go ahead and install Gravity Forms. So how do we install a plugin in WordPress? Well, what we do is we go to the plugins and we hit install. So I'm just going to use my elements list here. I'm going to add new. I call it Taylor Arnt Store because I didn't have a better name for it. I'm going to upload plugin. And guys, don't worry. This is going to be in a Google Drive folder, but you can have plugins wherever you want. So just don't worry. And also, for the sake of security, I am not showing my Gravity Forms license on camera. So you will see me mute in the process, and that's because I have to enter a license key. So please just keep in mind because you have to have a license key to use the plugin. All right, with the disclaimers out of the way, let's go ahead and do it. Stripe requires WooCommerce to be installed. The button expanded up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stripe requires WooCommerce. Yes, I had WooCommerce on at one point to test stuff, but I don't have it anymore, so we're just going to ignore it. I'm going to upload the plugin zip file. I'm going to go to my Google Drive. Colon, selected. I'm going to go to my shared drives, and I'm going to go to our internal drive. This is our internal drive, so I'm going to install it. Install now, and then we got to activate. For some reason, the site's running slow. Activate plugin. Good grief. It's loading, so just hold on a second. 
search tabs, but presence, share bookmark, document, land, land. Land, land. What is happening? Hold on, let me refresh it. Gravity Forms is not cooperating. Land. Sorry for the technical yeah, sorry for the technical difficulties, folks. I had this working just before the stream and well stuff happens. So. Online slash W dash admin slash functions. PHP action equals action equals action equals action action function craft crap line e five please. But hey, at least it's not my fault. It's gravity forms. So at least I can I can cover my butt a little bit there. Main landmark clickable table object automatic clickable row checkbox not function function column two kismet empty dash spam cold. Gravity Forms is activated. You just had a little glitch. Link setting star. Gravity is this license? Row by column one through four. Link register your copy of Gravity Forms to receive access. It's not. All right, so we're gonna hit register. Forms, Again, what I'm doing is I'm showing you you guys how to use Gravity Forms. So you know, first you install it. You know, of course, when you buy it, you'll have to download it from their site. Then you're gonna install it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in your license key. Now this is where I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for just a second and put in my license key that I got from Gravity Forms, and then we'll be back on live. All right. Well, I'm putting in my Gravity Forms license key. Y'all are uh, good to chat, so please chat. Any questions you have, please let me know. If you want to see something in my plugin, if you want to you know, understand something about Gravity Forms, please, please, please send chat messages. I will be answering them while I'm trying to enter this Gravity Forms license key. All right, with all that being said, let's go ahead and stop the stream, not the stream, stop the screen just for a second, and we'll be back in just a minute. Screen sharing needed controls, screen sharing. All right, let's see. So I'm going to enter this in. For some reason, hold on a second. I'm just doing a couple things just to make sure that this works. Um, so yeah, I'm entering the gravity forms license key. There we go. All right, hold on a second. All right, I'm just what I'm doing right now, folks, uh, is I am entering the key, at least trying to. Sometimes it doesn't work that well. But again, I think this website just being really slow. I think. All right. Okay, good. My chat was working. I was a little bit worried. So, all right. I'm just going to enter the key one more time because I didn't want to take. Go figure gravity forms. Usually I don't have all these issues, but, you know, my computer, ever since the latest Windows update, has acted very funny and it's not fun. So, um, just an FYI, I don't know that I'd recommend updating right now because I've had Chrome, Chrome crash every time I try to use it. So just FYI there, if you want to get the new Windows update. All right, we're almost done here, folks, and then we'll go back on doing this real quick. All right. All right, here we go. I'm going to enable auto updates. And FYI, I would recommend if you're doing this for a public thing, hiding the license key because you have that option. And I'm going to do that for this demo. How to best describe it, I don't care. I'm just going to do small business. All right. So, it want, it, at least it has a video for you to learn gravity forms. So, um, that's good. So, you can learn to use it. All right. So, let's get back in business here. All right, so you've got gravity forms, but dashboard, Taylor, 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 let's create a form. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a form. Now, I'm not going to install my plugin just yet because I want to walk you through the workflow and I want to show how my plugin can help you fix your problems. So we're going to go to create a new form. 
Elements list dialog. Forms. 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 Heading level one, explore form quickly, create an amazing full form for your specific needs. And there's different templates. Heading level two, blank form, but use template quote, simple contact form quote. But I'm going to use a simple contact form just for the sake of it. Actually, yes, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to show you how to add your own fields. Form title is required under the form title plan. I'm just going to call this test form for YouTube demo. If I even know how to type tonight, which, you know, Use templates. Again, this is form just gravity form. form. So form first, form. you cannot use my plugin to create gravity forms. Gravity forms does it good. It's accessible. But, you know, when we try to reorder form fields, it's not accessible. No next heading. Clickable list with 14. List with four main landmark. Clickable All right. Name required. Right name required, name name required button, right. But, uh-oh, let's say I need to have email first. Well, what would I do? Uh, I'd have to get cited help. No, you do not. Watch this. All right, so we're going to go and create. Okay, let me make sure my plugin. Elements list dialog. Three G. General fifty five G. Nope, my plugin signed so. All right, so we're going to go add my plugin. Clickable main menu navigation. Clickable main clickable logo fusion. Clickable logo fusion button collapse. Clickable help button expanded. So. Oh gosh. Button expanded. Main menu navigation. Clickable main landmark help button. Clickable logo fusion button expanded. There we go. Visited link. Woo payments. Woo payments. Request fusion zip file call. So we're going to go to gravity forms. Uh, and accessibility oh, enhancements. I, I, I have mine stored in OneDrive, so that's what we're going to go to OneDrive. Command, cancel, but open button, mode, cancel, open tool, address colon, G, search box, command module, three view, level two, Google Drive, left baron, level one network, collapse one, uh, oh, OneDrive, dash, Taylor, LLC, collapse one, one, level one. iCloud, photos, D, level zero, desktop, left baron, one, level one, home, one, one. Let's see, Calorie, what do I have Taylor, stored? Level two, desktop, left, level one, Taylor, dash, person, calorie, one, one, level, items, view list, dot, AU, dot, gravity, forms, line, two, eight, seven, point, one. Let me check, see where I have selection removed. Because I thought I had this stored somewhere else, but I don't, so. We're going to go to Gravity Forms and we're going to install it. I had it installed in my OneDrive, which is good. So I'm going to let me figure out where I put it. You know, it's been so busy today that I don't even know where I put my own plugin. So, you know, if you just understand how that goes. And it, it doesn't help that I have two OneDrive accounts. Now, why did I put it in OneDrive instead of Google Drive? Because Google Drive was giving me a fuss. So. All right, we're just going to copy this path in Windows so I can find it. Taylor dash personnel selected. Taylor dash personnel. Taylor. Screen sharing meeting control. All right. So here we go. We're going to open it. Taylor dash personnel. Keep holding back selection. No, no, no. Windows. File dialog. You can't open this location using this program. Open dialog. File name colon. Address combo. Forms. Forms. G colon. Windows, you're being very not helpful. Open dialog. Taylor dash personnel. Screen sharing, Taylor, dash Sorry, y'all. Windows is not being the nicest thing right now. Items new list accessible later. Address bar edit selected. Taylor dash personal. Taylor Taylor dash personal. Taylor dash personal. One level. Taylor search new the Taylor. Items new list accessible latest Post dot zip check for. G. It's being slow. All right, here's what we're going to do. One drive dash Taylor, LLC, I'm going to LLC. put this in my downloads folder for now. That way I can just do this and not have to worry about all this nonsense. Um, because sometimes it just doesn't want to work right. So I just go into OneDrive. It's going to load. And Windows Explorer is going to have a problem. Getting started with one Gravity forms accessibility enhancements. Zip check six twelve. All right, I'm just gonna simply put this on oh. my download folder. Run dial L A D S. Yes, I love Windows R. Oh. If you can't tell. Items new list earlier this year grouping expanded. Tax mama. Replace or skip files. Copy skip it. Replace download. Replace the file with a. I must have a version. Thirty seven percent. Pause the operation. Check box on the. All program. right. Items new list yesterday grouping latest dash. W D dash latest dash. Gravity. Yesterday, gravity forms accessibility enhancements. Zip check. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to install this plugin right now. Gravity forms. Three view. Gallery one to one level one. We're going to find my downloads folder. Documents left fifty. Level one. Start quick access. Dash desktop left baron. Pin right D. Downloads left baron. Pin right. Items view list. Gravity forms line two. Three view. Downloads left baron. Items view list. Earlier this month. Grouping expanded. Earlier this year. Grouping expanded. Yesterday. Grouping expanded. Gravity forms accessibility enhancements. Zip not selected. Type edit. Gravity. All right, so we're going to install the zip folder. Check the file name and type in. Okay, but hold on. Open dialog file name. Space selected. Open dialog Taylor dash personal file dot com. I didn't say Taylor personal. Oh, hold on. Again, Windows is not my friend right now. Help plus select the gravity forms accessibility enhancements dot zip. 
Items new list. Date modified. Split button. Yeah, we're just going to reopen the file. Button. Sorry about that, guys. Windows is being a absolute pain in my book right now. We're going to get it sorted out real fast here. You know, if I was smart, I probably would have done this before the Windows update. But, you know, I just really wanted that co-pilot feature. Turns out that wasn't as good as I wanted it. Button, zip, colon, gravity, Great. Button, All button, right. We got to go in here now. now. So we're going to hit install now. Pretty straightforward. Unless you're, you know, Double, Taylor, my Windows Android, system that's not working right now. Visit, link, link, compact, install, link, button, install, link, activate, button. activate plugin. HTTPS colon slash slash Taylor. Clickable. Land. And don't worry if it hangs. Like I said, this demo installation shouldn't hang like this. I think it's just kind of not broken, but just really slow. But it will still activate like Gravity Forms did. So I'm just going to wait a minute and then I'll refresh the page. But again, don't worry about it because it's not going to do it my gravity forms. You know, what the dev environment or your, your real environment will do. And to prove that, we're going to go to here. We're going to go to dashboard. And we're going to, we're going to see how it works. So, all right. What I do to make sure it's activated, I go to install plugins. Main map checkbox not checked. This automatic clickable checkbox not checked. Pugent column two is given. Row three. Select gravity forms. Row four. Select gravity forms. Accessibly deactivate gravity forms. See, it says deactivate. It's activated now. How do we reorder our forms? That's a good question, right? Because we want to reorder our fields. We're going to search for an item in our sub menu. And it's called GF Accessibility Enhancements. You're going to go in here and you're going to reorder your fields like a boss. All right. Here's what we do. We go to elements list dialog. G general fifty five G gravity form semi visit eighty nine one hundred five level zero G general fifty five one hundred five level Z skip the main skip the dashboard home set updates jetpack semi my jetpack dashboard eight settings not search test no. add new category tax media set G general fifty G gravity form semi visit eighty nine one G general fifty G gravity form G general fifty right and fifty seven fifty seven no hold on list link updates link out of list list with five list with five items link my jetpack link dashboard link search link stats out of list list with four items link all posts link add new link link tax link tax oh my god okay just list with two items visit link home out of list visit a subject link dashboard. Y'all, this is what happens when I do a live demo because Which I I know the one that I gave you guys is working. But because I have so many different versions in here. Probably was not because I have so many different versions. But we're going to sort this out right now. Because it is working. Um, and that's the problem. Yeah, I know my battery is running low. Just another thing to add to my crazy stream tonight. But we're going to get that sorted out right now. Yeah, that would suck if... No, the submenu is there and it will be showing up. So I think what had happened is that the form, the plugin had some kind of issue with this website. But what I can do is here. Gravity forms accessibility enhancements. PHP check two of two. Of course, as a PHP. JS check one of two. Gravity form. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna copy this path. And I'm going to try this one more time. This is going to work. It's just this. This thing is being stupid. I don't like it. But again, I have tested this so many times that if this doesn't work, I'm going to be embarrassed. Because I guarantee you it works. It's just not. Cooperating. Enhancement, enhancement, accessibility. Quote seat, open file dialog. You can't open this location using this program. Please try it. Open dialog file. Search box command. Three new items. New list. Yesterday grouping expanded. Gravity All right, let's see. Hold on. Box. Address combo box equals. Selection removed. I can't open this. Enhancement, enhancement, accessibility forms. Backslash, 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 tear. Backslash, one drive. Backslash, grab, backslash. Backslash, forms, access, and zip. E, selection room. Quote seat, open file dialog. You can't open this location using. I don't want to open it. Search command box. Three new items. New list. Yesterday group. Address comp land. Select. Okay, fine. We will sort this out. You know, I think
Items new list. Desktop not select. Document pictures. Access gravity personal. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Heading left buttons. Now let's hope I don't break this website. I should have deleted this, but I didn't think it was going to work. Oh, good. It's going to replace it. All right. Let's try this one more time. We know how things go. Now, I don't know why this thing keeps hanging and does all this weird stuff. Oh boy. Land, land, land. All right. Taylor Art Store. Clickable Tool Navigation Landmark List with Elements List Dialog. Taylor Art Store. Send up a word. Taylor Edit Site 3. One update of zero. Comment news. Any stats. Seven forms. Set out. Take out. Skip the content. Taylor Art Card 13. Of check out 14. Of 20. One minute. Sample page 6. Of a word. Taylor Art Store. Send me. Visit submenus. Dashboard. Taylor Art Store. M. Dashboard. Press. Dash. Google Chrome. Dash. Taylor Left. Parent. Elements list dialog. Three G. General fifty five. Writing fifty six. Skip the main. Skip the dash home. Updates. Jet time. Jet dash eighty. General fifty. G. Dash four. Yeah, that is so weird, y'all. Uh, okay. So what we're gonna have to do is we are going to do something else here. So all right, what we're gonna have to do because this isn't working and I'm embarrassing myself as we speak. Is we're going to take a slight break and, you know, maybe go get a piece of or bag of popcorn. And I'm going to, of course, you can still talk amongst yourselves. And I'm going to get this sorted out immediately because I think it's something with a stupid website. So just give me one second here and I'm going to get this sorted out. But keep talking about yourself. Like I said, I'm going to get this sorted out. Um, so. Let's see. All right, we might be in business actually by the time I stopped. Maybe not. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to Let's see. Yeah. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I am I'm going to demonstrate on one of our sites, actually. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to actually help one of my friends out. How? Because I'm going to make a contact form for them. And if you've not checked out the Unmute website, you should check that out, unmute.show. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to do this backwards in a sense. So we're going to install my plugin. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do this the right way. I hope so. Uh, this was working. All right. All right, let me install Gravity Forms. If not, I am going to be super sad because my thing is not working. But I think it's because I need to install Gravity Forms. So let's install Gravity Forms and then we'll go from there.
So either way, we're going to get this to work because we have to. Oh, it's already there. What really? What the heck? Okay, that is broken. And again, I gave this to the, you know, on launch, so I don't know what is going on right now. But what I can tell you is that we have a serious problem. So. But this was working, so we have a serious problem. So here's what we're going to do. Um, unfortunately, we have a problem, and it's not in my control because it was working. So what we're going to have to do is... I'm going to download... Uh, yeah, I, oh gosh. All right, well, unfortunately, y'all, I don't know what just happened to my life because everything isn't working. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to reschedule the stream, but don't worry. You're still gonna get the exact same stream and we're probably gonna have more people watching it. So uh, I will keep you posted. Hopefully we'll restream it for tomorrow, but uh, I'm sorry for the technical difficulties folks and we'll just have to figure this out. So I'll keep you guys posted and we will talk soon.